I'm very excited for the NCAA West Region Championships on Friday up in Sacramento. Uh, both our men and our women's teams are really ready to go. We've been training well. It's important that our team understands that the reason for the NCAA West Region meet is to advance to the national championships. The course, it's a flat, fast 6,000 meter, 10,000 meter course. And you know, we've, we've prepared for that, obviously. And on the men's side, we have uh, our best team ever. And I think we've done a good job of accomplishing what we've needed to do at each stage of the season. And realistically, for our men to advance to the national championships, we have to put everything together and, and have really good, solid performances across the board. And, get up into the top seven teams in the region and a lot of that depends on what happens with other teams but obviously we can't focus on that I mean our goal is to go and get the most out of ourselves and if we do that we feel like we are a team that can contend in the top seven. Alex qualified as an individual last year for the NCAA championships and he's really come a long ways in the past year I think when he arrived here last fall there's always a little bit of a learning curve in the NCAA he's really figuring it out in terms of how to get the most out of himself in competitive opportunities I think he's a lot more patient than he was last year and he's fitter and more experienced and I think he can run with just about anybody in the region for our women it's all about being at your best when it matters most and we've uh, carefully brought certain individuals along. We knew we wouldn't be ready to, to really hit it um, early season. So, I mean, it's all about making sure that each individual gets what they need. And this women's team is phenomenal. They really understand the concept of running together and running for each other. And we have so many players. Charlotte's been a front runner for our team all season long, and she has improved tremendously in the in the last year and obviously we have Elena Burkard who's who's a seasoned competitor and has competed at the national championships a couple times and she's fitter and more ready to go than she ever has been and I think in her first year competing there she was within 10 spots of being an All-American and we've also inserted Marie Bouchard into our lineup and um, she was our, our top runner at the conference championships and she's definitely a, a gamer and a competitor and is excited to run for her team. And the list goes on because Veronica Pajek was our top runner at the region championships last year and was eighth in the region. And Tatiana Schulte has improved tremendously and um, had some problems going into the conference championship with a, a, a little bit of a strainer in, in her costal, but she's, she's uh, definitely fitter than she's ever been. And, and then Isabel Brower in her first competition at the conference championships was, was tremendous. So, I mean, there's so many women who are capable of, of yes. stepping up, and, and that's why we're really excited about this squad. Great job, ladies! You know, obviously there's only two automatic spots from each region that qualify for the national championships. And then the, the rest of the spots are filled with, with that large berths from around the country. I think we probably have enough points on the women's side right now for us to advance to the national championships as long as we you know, run to our capability in the, in the region. And there's no reason why you know, we, we can't do that. So I think for us, we're just trying to stay in the moment and, and get a little bit better and get, get a little bit more momentum coming off our conference championships and get ready for, for the national championships in Terre Haute in two weeks.